Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, for those of you that don't know me and I love to make home decor and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today's video is gonna be a clean and decorate with me. So you guys, today I'm sharing pretty much my Friday cleaning routine. As soon as I pick up Jay, the first thing he wants to do is take the garbage bin out because we have Saturday garbage pickup. So my little helper is always willing to help. Then we head up to the laundry room around four o'clock after I finish working and I clean up the space a little bit and then I start to put some clothes to wash and then I head to Jaden's bathroom where we start cleaning the bathroom together. He really loves helping to clean. I think that's all he sees, you guys. <laughs> but I'm enjoying the little help. So disclaimer, this is not my dip cleaning routine. This is more like my weekly Friday cleaning routine where I make sure I clean the entire house to maintain the house and have a clean house for the weekend. So a dip cleaning routine will be coming soon when I dip clean now for spring and I will share it with you guys how I do that. So now I'm cleaning my bathroom, the shower area, and I am so excited for spring because I have a cool little project to refresh the bathrooms in the house. I mean, just Jaden's and mine. I want to do like a little pick me up. I want to definitely do something to this space right here, this toilet room. It's like such a waste of space. I wished I would have gone with my original plan when I renovated the bathroom, but I was on a budget and I wanted to stick to budget, so I left the layout the same so that's a regret <laughs> in case you are renovating your bathroom go all out do what you want because you're gonna regret it later on if you don't do it but here i am just you know getting this bathroom nice and clean and ready to pop some decor in this area soon and then i head to my room where i start dusting my headboard my nightstand and cleaning the mirrors and all of that good stuff I wash my bed sheets every week, so here I am just putting the clean sheets out while the dirty ones are in the washer machine. Once I'm done with my room, I head to Jaden's room where, of course, he starts playing with luggage and all of that stuff. <laughs> so I'm just putting things back. And his room is pretty much clean, um, the bedding and everything, because, of course, he's not sleeping in it. I know, I know, I'm working on it. Um, so he's helping me also put his toys away. Then I go and give this room a nice vacuum and head downstairs so we could go ahead and start cleaning downstairs. But here I am now in the guest bathroom and this was a quick cleanup because I didn't have to wash the shower area because it was definitely clean. I cleaned it the week before and nobody has come and shower in here or anything like that. So that's a breeze. Head to the kitchen, start, you know, cleaning dirty dishes and putting things away so I could clean my counters. I have taken all of the decor from here for the most part so I could get this space nicely decorated with a pop of Valentine's Day decor. So here I am cleaning the stove.
I'm cleaning the kitchen I go ahead and start you know picking up toys blankets and putting things in its place and then I give the entire house a nice vacuum before I mop the floors And my cleaning day ends with a beautiful clean slate like this one, ready to be decorated the next day. So my night ends at eight o'clock. I finished cleaning at eight o'clock at night and headed straight to my room and I saw that bed and I wanted to jump on it, but I had to take a shower. So happy to finally unbox my new Air 24 inch commercial styling steel beverage fridge. This fridge, it's so nice, you guys. Wait until you see it. The cool thing is this is weatherproof. It could be outside or you could also have it indoors. It doesn't matter where you want to put it. It fits under your cabinet, um, you know, counter depth, or it comes with little legs that you can raise it as well. And here we are um, finishing assembling. The fridge was super easy. I love that new air always back. All of their fridges are so well. They don't come damaged or anything like that. And we're gonna be playing with the layout of how we want this kitchen. So my goal is to extend the counter depth of the kitchen and create like an L shape. But for now, we're playing to see where I want to put the fridge. And we finally found a layout that works for us. And this is pretty much it. Looks how great it looks outside, you guys. First of all, I love that it has three shelves that are adjustable. Super easy to, you know, move around to accommodate your beverage. So after I was done setting up the new fridge in my backyard, I headed to the front door to add a pep of Valentine in here. And then we're gonna go inside and start adding decor to add a little pop of color for the month of February. Here I'm just using this fade fillers that I bought at Burlington. They smell so good. If you find them, please pick them up. Perfect for spring now. And I'm just moving things around, like the flowers that I had in the centerpiece of the table, I moved it to the sideboard, you know, play with what you have, you guys. You don't have to spend so much money. Then we're gonna be creating a little Valentine arrangement. I am using these flowers that I got at TJ Maxx for $9.99. They are so realistic. And then I'm using Hard Conversation candy. I run out of candy, but it looks super cute anyways. Um, but hopefully I get a little pack more. Then I head to the formal space and added some pillows here with a pop of pink to add a little bit more color. I added my arrangement that I made and I'm from TJ Maxx. I got this cherry blossom for only $14.99. I got two packs of those. Then I'm gonna be adding a pop of you know, Valentine decor here, just simple stuff, nothing crazy into the kitchen. I had this um, cutting boards from last year and this flower arrangement as well. So I'm just using items that I already had in my home, moving into different areas. It always makes the space look new and the decor just move things around. Like this kitchen towels last year, I used them um, in another space and this year I'm using it here in the kitchen. So here I am just setting up and switching the florals on this base. And it makes such an impact just by changing the florals in a base, you guys. You don't even have to change the base. Um, you just get new florals and boom, it looks brand new.
the shelves here I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of Valentine's decor as well remember that planter that I showed you guys from my last blog at Walmart I added some flowers in there and they look so cute and then I'm gonna add a few touches here of items that I already had in new ones like that little Christmas um, not it's not a Christmas tree it's a Valentine's tree um, I got it at home good this year and the little wreath is from TJ Maxx also from this year and then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some syrup here for my coffee area and this ones this bottle of dispensers came from Amazon they're super cute great price and they even come with different labels for your bottles so I would definitely link them below I'm adding some Valentine's Day heart candy here from Aldi that I got and these are so yummy by the way that was it for today's video i hope you enjoy cleaning and decorating with me and adding a little pop of valentine's decor and color to the home don't forget to check the description box because i will be linking a lot of the items that you saw on today's video i will see you all on the next one god bless